Now also in Florida, jury selection begins Monday in the knocking neighbor shooting trial. 59-year-old Susan Lorenz faces manslaughter and assault charges in the shooting death of her neighbor, 35-year-old Ajiko Owens. Now, prosecutors say now moments before Owens was shot, Lorenz had gotten into an altercation with Owens' nine-year-old son, prompting Owens to confront Lorenz about the incident. Now, Lorenz told police that she feared for her life as she shot through the bolt-locked front door, fatally striking Owens. Here's Court TV's anchor Julia Janae with more on this case. I mean, it was sheer terror on my part. I mean, honest to God, I was like, I was shaking. Susan Lorenz shot through her front door and killed a neighbor on June 2nd, 2023. 35-year-old Ajika Owens was knocking on Lorenz's door when she was shot. According to the Marion County Sheriff's Office, Lorenz had a history of calling the police on the neighborhood children who played near her house. They've called one side or the other. Either the mother, Ms. Owens, has called or a shooter has called complaining about the children. Now his children being children. When police arrived, Lorenz was still inside. This is not been planning to do this for the longest time. Ever. Oh my God. Baby, wake up. Baby, wake up. Come your hands. Turn around. Turn around. Where's your gun at? You got hands, you got hands. You're gonna be detained. Is there anybody else in the house? Um, can I just get No, 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 not right now. You're not under arrest, you're being detained. According to an arrest affidavit, a short time before the shooting, Lorenz picked up an iPad. One of Owens' children left it near her home. When Owens' son asked her to return it, she allegedly threw it on the ground, yelled at him, and swung an umbrella at him as she accused him of trespassing. Moments later, Ajika Owens learned about the incident and was knocking on Lorenz's door to confront her. Owens's nine-year-old son was standing next to her when she was shot. Lorenz later admitted to investigators that she called the children racial slurs. She also said she fired her gun because she was in fear for her life. I just remember being terrified that she was banging and screaming and just, yeah, I just remember hearing her say, I'm going to kill you. I was in fear for my life. I, I mean, honest to God, I just feared that she was going to come through that door. Lorenz was arrested four days after the shooting. Good morning, ma'am. What is your name? Susan Lorenz. There were initial questions as to why she wasn't immediately arrested. Investigators said they first had to determine that this case in Florida wasn't a stranger ground case. Ajika Owens's mother spoke at her funeral. On Friday, June 2nd, 2023, a racist white woman fatally murdered Ajika through a locked, closed metal door. All right, joining us this hour to discuss, criminal defense attorney Marie Pereira is with us and retired NYPD executive and deputy inspector Corey Pegues joins us as well. Great to see you both. Thank you so much for joining me on this Friday. Marie, I'll begin with you. Let's begin right there with Susan Lorenz. Want to get your thoughts on this case. There are, I think the most important aspect of the case is there are competing stories as to what the victim was doing. Of course, the defendant says she was screaming, I'm going to kill you, while banging on a door that, mind you, was bolted and made of metal. Then she shoots through the door, and she's claiming either both stand your ground and, of course, self-defense. You heard her say she was in fear for her life. Others outside say at no point did the victim, in this case, yell, I was going to kill you. She was calling her name, telling her to come on out so they could talk about what had happened with her son. Your thoughts on that one? There is a history of acrimony between the families. I think she, the defendant, was suffering from an acute case of negrophobia. A young black woman on the other side who came to avenge what happened with her son. She was so afraid of the woman that she shot through a locked door without even having the woman have an opportunity to reach out for her or anything. That is negrophobia at its best. And that's what happened here. And there's word that she had called them the N-word before. So there are racist comments, negrophobia happening, and that's why this woman shot the victim. 
All right, fair enough. Now, she's not being charged with any sort of hate crime. Um, so I don't know, you know how that might play out. But in fact, there are claims by folks in the neighborhood that she had used that word that day mm -hmm. and before uh, with some mm -hmm. of the kids in the neighborhood. Um, yes. Corey, love to get your thoughts on this one. Again, when I look at the facts of the case, um, as far as her arguments are concerned, this is a woman who lives alone. A younger woman, a much younger woman, is pounding on the door, yelling for her to come out, according to her, yelling that I'm going to kill you. This has been, as Marie said, an ongoing problem between this woman and really, quite frankly, the neighborhood. I want to get your take on it. Well, first, I got a new word, negrophobia. Nice. like that, Marie. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, listen, Mike. I'm not, you can't bamboozle me. You, you can't like, you know, throw water on me, then tell me that it's like something that it's not, it's water. Listen, this obviously was something that's been brewing for a very long time. I'll probably go on record to say, Owens probably told that, that elderly lady before that she was gonna kill her. She probably even told her that before. Remember, just before she shot her, she's researching on her computer, what's to stand your ground law. So that might show some intent. I'm pretty sure the defense is using that search right before she shot. And let's just really be real about this. If you're behind a metal locked door and you have a firearm in your possession, you know that you've been dealing with this neighbor for so long. Who has the upper hand? The person with the gun behind the door. You're already at safety. The main thing to do is call 911. This yeah. lady is wrong on all levels. Yeah, and again, it was a bolted door. It was a metal door. So there was no guarantee she was going to get through that door. I don't know. Do you think that she knows that, et cetera? We do know the victim didn't have a weapon at